Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R240 server. Do us a favor, if you find this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on power supplies, which are going to be uh, slightly different depending on the type of R240 you have. If you have the uh, cabled in version, it's going to be uh, this big power supply over here. And if you have the hot swap, it's going to be uh, these little guys over here. So first off, let's go with the different options. So for the hot swap, you have a 350 watt and you have a 550 watt and you cannot mix them so you need to have two 350 watt or two 550 watt. I uh, will show you how to do a replacement on these but this one's honestly really easy because it simply simply slides in and out so uh, that will be an easy uh, quick one. Then we're also going to show you how to do um, the replacement for the cable and for the cable there is a 250 and a 450 this one being the 450 which is much less common um, but we do have one just to show you how to actually do the install so what we'll do is we'll do a quick close-up uh, of the actual power supplies and then we'll go ahead and show you how to do step-by-step -step instructions of how to replace them all right, so here's a quick close-up on the hot swap. So you got your 350 and your 550. Uh, obviously, they're the same uh, form factor or the same shape. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you how to swap them in and out, and then we'll do a close-up of the two cabled ones. All right, so we're going to show you how to replace it. Very simple for the hot swap. Just going to push the orange tab right there and pull out, and it just slides out nice and easy. So we just took out the 350, and now we're going to put in the 550. And we're just going to slide this in, and you'll see this will click into place, and it is now firmly in there. So again, I'll just do it real quick. Just slides and pops in. It's a very, very easy replacement. The cable is definitely uh, a tougher one, uh, but this is super easy. So let's show you the step-by-steps on the cabled one and show you the two different options side-by-side. All right, so now we're going to show you how to uh, replace a bad power supply or how to upgrade a cabled power supply. And we're actually going to put the 250 and 450 side by side. So you will need a Phillips head. Um, and I wanted to point out there are four connectors that come out, but this first one doesn't plug into anything. It's going to be these three right here uh, that you're going to need to pay attention to. And we'll show you exactly where on the motherboard to install them. Okay, So let's go ahead and move this to the side. Pop the latch, lift the top, pretty much like any one you've been in before. So here's your 250, and I wanted to put the 450 next to it so you can just kind of see a, a nice side-by-side -side of the two of them. Um, you know, there's no real big difference outside, 250 and 450, right? <laughs> so um, I will go ahead and put this back to the side. So if you follow the cable around, you'll notice right here, this is the piece that I mentioned, or this is the connector that isn't going to anything, but if you continue to follow it around, um, I'm going to move this air baffle so you get a better view. Um, right here is the first little connector, the two pin one, and then you got the uh, bigger one right here, and then keep on following it to the back right here. So here are your three connectors. So we need to remove these for the current 250. So we're just going to take all these out. Okay, so now we've taken them out, they're disconnected. You'll notice the cables are run right through here, so we're going to need to pull them out. So we got the first one, second one, and third one are all now out, and then they are run through here. So we're just going to keep on following the cable around, and we are just going to slowly get each little bit removed, so right here as well. and then right here. So now comes the fun part where we're going to actually have to run this under all these other cables to get this physically removed. So just be careful while you're doing this that you don't accidentally snag a different cable. All right, so now we've taken our cables out. Okay, and all we're going to need to do at this point is remove this one screw right here. So let's go ahead and Take this screw out, and again, it is a Phillips head. And once you've taken that screw out, this is actually loose. So you can push this back and lift your bad or old power supply out. All right, so now we're going to install our 450. So you need to be careful with all these extra cables 
So essentially we're gonna, I'm gonna slide this one in and then put this down to start just to get this part going. All right, run this over here. And again, because there's so many extra cables, you do need to be careful that you don't accidentally uh, disconnect a different cable. So I'm just gonna run this one over here since it's not gonna go to anything. And this is physically here, but we're gonna go ahead and screw it in and then we'll run the cables. So we'll get our Phillips head back and we'll go ahead and screw this down. I like to screw it down in advance just because I don't want it uh, moving around when I'm pulling the cables. Okay, so now we are just gonna go back through and run our cables exactly how we had them before. So we're gonna want to uh, take these and slide them under here to just get them all the way over here. We'll put our braid cable back. All right, so then we're gonna wanna slide it under this first metal latch here. And then we're going to want to slide it under the second metal latch here. Come around. We're gonna wanna put them back in one by one to this little cubby hole. Okay, and now that we have them in, we just need to start connecting them. So we're gonna do this one first. So we got our first one in. We'll do this one second. Sometimes you need a little extra slack back. And then we'll come do this one last. So definitely the cabled is tougher to do, but it's not like it's a hard thing to do as a whole, um, but it is a little tougher than the hot swap. And uh, just like that, we have replaced it. And so the main things to take away are the different connection points, uh, just one screw, uh, just running your cables properly and being careful that you're not accidentally uh, hitting anything else. Um, and, and I'll honestly, like, it's not, like, not a tough upgrade. Uh, it's definitely not as easy as a hot swap, but uh, it's not tough overall. And I'm gonna actually clean this up just a little bit over here to make it a little bit smoother. So, and there you go. So now we, we've uh, upgraded the, uh, the power supply. So if you need any custom built servers yourself or any upgrades, please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We custom build Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, you name it. We do AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalable, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Thanks for stopping by, take care.